advocate Tim Nisi um, doing the most. Uh, so there's there are about three videos of advocate Tim Nisi where he was busy dealing with the shenanigans of U Prakatiya Kanenda. So what I'm about to do, I'm going to play you those videos and I would like us to dissect each and every single one of those videos. But before we can get there, there, there are three, look, out of these three videos, let's take things step by step. Look, who needs to raise the issue of Geninda using a hearsay evidence? And he has constantly introduced this hearsay evidence in court every time when he's testifying. The trick is every time, or the, the, the strategy that Geninda is using to introduce the hearsay evidence is this. He's going to be asked an answer. In answering, I mean, he's going to be asked a question. Sorry, guys. Instead of answering the question with a straight answer, he will then pretend as if he's answering that question, but in the process, introduce a hearsay evidence. In that, he never uh, he never answers a question. Even look, he never uh, he never gives a direct answers. Even if a question or whatever that question is being asked, he just needs to say yes or no. Simple thing as that, yes or no. But Kenina is going to say A, B, C, D. Yeah. A simple question. So in the process, I can confidently tell you that it is his strategy to introduce hearsay evidence. Watch the first video here. Another only point of contention here mm. is that this witness mm. is allowed to bring through the back door hearsay evidence. And we all know what are the basis of hearsay evidence. The state must stand up and make an application that my lord I am aware that this is hearsay evidence, but I'm requesting that it be provisionally accepted mm -hmm. pending the calling of the witness wh whose, 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 whose credibility that information rests. You are right. But the state does not do that. You this. are right. Yes. But this evidence is being elicited under cross-examination. That's the difference. But Where nonetheless, yes. He is being cross-examined. Yes, my lord. And then he answers. Yes, my lord. But my Lord, nonetheless, hearsay evidence is... You can, argue, with, you can the argue thereafter that what he was saying is hearsay evidence, fine. But you can't accuse a witness of, not, of answering and then you say, you're not supposed to answer the way you're answering because it's hearsay evidence. But again, my Lord, the rules are very clear. Hearsay mm. evidence is not admissible. Unless the state, as I'm saying, stands up and says, I'm making an application that that be provisionally... Uh, accepted pending the calling of the of the of the witness whose veracity the statement relies on. Okay, fine, no, no, but I differ with you. There's a case of yes. State versus Lipoko. Yes, it's a judgment by Underhalter. Just read that judgment. It was yes. delivered in 2019. Yes, SCA. And another thing that okay. I've noted, my lord, mm. is that hearsay evidence is actually not elicited under uh, cross-examination, but it is because of this unwarranted elucidation by this witness. It's, it's, it's just allowed to you can't, do whatever you can't get away from the fact that, control, man. You can't get away from the fact that this witness is under cross-examination. He's under cross-examination, but 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 he keeps on explaining things that have not been asked. Man. If I right, were me... You can argue that. No problem. Thank you, man. You can argue that. Fine. Thank you. Okay. So let's proceed then. Uh, ooh, what can I say? What can I say? How best can I say this? When you when you listen and when you watch Uprakadia Keninda, he in, in look he's been intentional about introducing this evidence by simply giving a lot explanation of something that he could have just simplified 
So it w- it's going to take uh, it's going to take the defense to realize that okay, we are dealing with a man here who is not intending to answer our questions, but is intending to maneuver this space by pretending as if he's answering our questions, whereas this man, what is basically doing, he's introducing a new evidence. And because of that, then it's gonna be difficult for it's gonna be difficult for for these people, I mean for for the defense, right? I, I, I think it's gonna take their sense of maturity to read the room and understand what Brigadier Kenida is doing. But also, it's going to take uh, look uh, your commitment to do the right thing uh, because we have just reached 60,000 subscribers. We need to continue. The journey continues, you know what I'm saying? So for you to support this channel, you need to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay let's proceed then let's proceed um as we proceed let's then check something there's a second video that i need to play you but now that we have established good okay this is what Oprekati Akinenda is intending to do. He is intending to introduce all sorts of evidence, something that he could have done when he was led by um, when he was led by the state. He, he didn't want to do that because probably he knew that it's going to catch up with him. So now he's going to do it during cross-examination. Why? Because he's not going to be asked questions uh, more of what he says. But it appears like Advocate Mnisi is wide awake. Advocate Mnisi, it appears like he's like, no, I've seen what you are doing. I, s- I know what you are doing. I've been a, a, look, a, state, uh, a state advocate. I know exactly what, look, the tricks that you are doing. So I am going to deal with you, whether you, like not, whether you like it or not. Take a look at the Advocate Mnisi handling Okininda very well here. <laughs> He never said that. He specifically said that it was there. I've yes, yes, he is here. Cross-examine him and tell him, you said the statement is here. Let's hear what he says. You have heard the call. May you please oh. answer. Mr. Kinney. My Lord, so let me start here. Uh, I think the court will recall when we spoke about what is contained in so far as that statement is concerned, I've indicated explicitly that my understanding, or rather I do not want to venture into the expertise of Kenneth Stein, and I was very specific that what I can confirm is that insofar as that statement is concerned, there is a link that is reported to me, and I still go back to what I said before, that there was a statement, I said it, my lord, it is true that I said there was a statement, and then I said the statement, it's in the docket, that is also correct, but what I want to correct is that I said there was a link, and I remember when that question from Advocate Nisi was put as to what type of a link, I've explained it clearly that I'm not an expert. What I can confirm... No, sorry, Mr. Uh, Piratia Kilina. Okay, can I you finish? You're not cross-examined by me. Don't say it came from me. Now, don't, don't, don't keep on misleading the court. Can, can I finish? No, can I don't keep on misleading the court. You are not being cross-examined by me. You said in the course of being cross-examined by Mr. Ramosipili that there's an evidence uh, there's a statement that you have that suggests that there was a communication, a, a statement that was written by Mr. Stein can that suggested that there was a communication between accused number three and, and, and Kelly Kumar. Then I stood up and said, may, kind, may we kindly be finished with that statement? Then you said, you definitely will. May I can, 
kindly get that statement because I want to take instructions from accused number three. I Man. don't want you to explain for the background of what you have explained. Now it's about the existence of that no. statement. Is that statement there or not? Manot, can I have your permission to speak? Yeah, yeah, just respond. Because I've heard what I was getting from Nisi, so I don't know how am I going to deal with this when I don't have a chance to respond. Mm -hmm. The first part, my lord, that I wanted to correct is that I said explicitly there was a link, and I stand by that. We can look at the record if this is in dispute. That's what I've said. That's number one. Second, my lord, I said there is a statement, and indeed there is a statement that... Okay, so let's proceed then. Um, from there, let's then look at... The experience. I'm gonna play you the. I think it's the last video. Ga, ga, ga advocate Tim Nisi. The experience of advocate Tim Nisi came came. Look, it came handy. He was indeed on fire, and I'm sure he was like Kininda. I am not gonna put my guts down when it comes to you. I'm definitely gonna look. Gonna stand up, and I'm go, I'm gonna fight for my client. Um, that look. We, we are yet to get to see who uh, uh, cross examination ka advocate Tim Nisi on Thursday. Uh, we're going to see that on Thursday. And then on Friday, the case won't, uh, it won't happen. But nonetheless, uh, advocate Tim Nisi, man, advocate Tim Nisi. You know, the more I think of advocate Tim Nisi, it's the more I, I, I feel like, you know what, the man has done incredibly well. I'm just hoping and wishing that he doesn't get disturbed when the actual cross-examination uh, starts because on Thursday, he is going to be leading everything. But there's one thing as well that I know that you are patiently waiting for. Let's play you the last video, Kaprakatia Bongan Kininda, and then we will proceed with the, uh, the rest of the commentary. I don't know what's going on with my skin, but again... Uh, less of my skin, more of your the video gamnesi here. Because this exhibit. May I respond? Sorry. May I respond? Sorry. Yeah, you can respond. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, my lord, when I first requested this statement, Mr. Manoy, you said no. They don't recall that statement, but they have to go and investigate. That is subsequent to Mr. Kenin that having said that. He emphatically, uh, when he emphatically said that stay, had stated in that statement that, that there was indeed a communication between Kelly and accused mm. number three, and then I requested this. Yeah. I've been waiting for Today in the morning, Mr. Maloy approaches me and says, no, that statement is it's not there. It was actually maybe a question of uh, uh, interpretation. Now they are in introducing a different dimension to what they said on that other thing. No, no, no. I'm, inter I'm, I'm interested, interested in, in what Mr. I'm interested in one is now riding on. I'm interested in one that the brigadier said. Yes. That statement, Exhibit yes. 01, is that the statement you were referring to? You? Yes, my lord. Yeah, that. No, he's basically riding on what Mr. Valoya said. Mr. Kininda said there's a statement that he has which indicates uh, that was penned by Mr. Stain saying that accused number three where the communication with Kelly Kumalo. If this was a statement, they would have simply said, no, I'm referring to Exhibit O, which is already on record, my lord. Yeah, can we, why did, can why we, did can, they have to can, wait up until they come on? and come up with Exhibit O? Look, listen to me, o Mr. Mnisi, listen to me. If you believe that they are misleading the court, put it to them, put it to him. Yes, sir. Yeah, put it to him and you'll argue that. I'm going to request, my lord. I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure whether the information that has been They have it, according to... to they say the statement the has been handed up to court. Mr. Yes, Ramosipi, do you have the statement? I do have the statement for one Mr. Umalo, do you have the statement? I do have the statement for one Ms. Mr. do you have the statement? Okay, so let's proceed. Um, yeah, my, 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 my parting words is... Uh, so far, so good. Uh, oh, Advocate Tim Nisi appears like, well, look, it appears like he's wide awake when it comes to the man, Prakatiya Bongani Kininda. Yes, he's going to lose some, he's going to win some in the in the quest to decisively handle oh, Prakatiya Bongani Kininda, but so far, so good. For me, so far, so good. It does appear like the man is going to put some fight for his client and the man is going to do everything within his power to decisively 
deal with uprakatia bongan kininda with that being said um it will be interesting to see how things will turn out on thursday i can't wait for thursday Tell me in the comment section below what do you think about Thursday. And nevertheless, guys, I will see you on the next episode. But until such a time, good people, please take care.